Sports Illustrated Kids presents A Ball's Life. For 40 years, Rawlings has been the official supplier of Major League Baseballs. A lot goes into creating a ball that is worthy of being called up to the big leagues. But once a ball makes its debut, it has an average lifespan of only six or seven pitches. Here's the story of one ball's journey. Holstein cows provide the leather for a baseball's cover. The yarn used inside the ball comes from the wool of New Zealand sheep. The hides are sent to the Tennessee Tanning Company, where they are treated with chemicals to make them bright white. Then they are dried and shaved to the proper thickness. The hides and wool are shipped to the Rawlings plant in Costa Rica. The heart of the baseball, called the pill, is made by wrapping rubber around a cork ball. The pill is coated in adhesive. Then wrapped with four layers of yarn, first is 121 yards of four-ply blue-gray yarn then 45 yards of fine white poly wool yarn. Then 53 yards of three ply blue gray wool yarn. And finally, 150 yards of fine white poly cotton blend yarn. Now the wrapped ball, called a center, is weighed and measured. Meanwhile, a machine cuts the cowhide sheets into figure eight shaped pieces with holes for the stitches. This is called the cover. The center is coated with adhesive and the covers are stitched on by hand with coated red yarn. Hello world! Now the ball goes into a machine that rolls it around to flatten the stitches. Then it spends the night in an air conditioned room. After a good cleaning, the ball is stamped with the signature of the commissioner, the Rawlings trademark, and the MLB logo. Sweet! Inspectors look at each ball. Yay! I'm on my way! Those that don't pass inspection are boxed for sale. Lucky you. I'm flawed. There is only a little time to rest. Soon the remaining balls are off to the U.S., where each one is inspected again. Those that pass are sent to major league teams. An umpire or clubhouse attendant hand rubs each ball with special mud that comes from a secret location along the Delaware River in New Jersey. The mud removes gloss and makes the ball easier to grip. Now the ball, which is no longer so white, is ready for the game. It's game time! An average of 120 balls are used in a game and each one is inspected again by the umpires before the first pitch. Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! The pitcher grips the ball and hurls it toward the plate. Whoa, Nelly! The batter swings and misses. Yikes! Pitch two. Whee! Strike! Ha! The batter grounds out. Uh -oh. Will the ball come out of the game? Nope, it doesn't have any scratches or scuffs, so it stays in play. Hi. The next hitter lifts one towards the stands. And some lucky fan is going home with a souvenir. I got it! Woo! Early retirement will suit me just fine. Thank you.